what is the limit as h approaches 0 of the expression ln x plus h minus ln x divided by h? How do you go about evaluating this limit? Well, the only thing you could do is you need to recognize the formula that this expression is associated with. That is the definition of the derivative. f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So in order to find the value of this expression, we need to determine what f of x is. We can clearly see that f of x is ln x. And this entire expression is equal to f prime of x. So what is the derivative of ln x? The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So that's the answer to the original expression. It's simply equal to 1 over x, the derivative of ln x. Let's try another one. Let's say we have the limit as h approaches 0 of sine x plus h minus sine x divided by h. So once again, what we need to do is determine f of x, because this entire expression is equal to f prime of x. f of x in this problem is going to equal sine x. So all we need to do is find the derivative of sine. So hopefully you remember your the derivatives of trigonometric functions. The derivative of sine is cosine. And so this entire expression is equal to cosine of x. So that's how you can evaluate limits that appear in this form. Now what about this problem? Let's say we have the limit as x approaches pi over 6. And we have the expression tangent x minus tangent pi over 6. divided by x minus pi over 6. So go ahead and take a minute and try that example. This one is a little bit different than the previous two examples. Now the first thing we need to do is find the formula that corresponds to this expression. And here it is. This is the alternative definition of the derivative. f prime of a is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. So what we need to do is determine two things in these two expressions, f of x and a. So we can clearly see that f of x is tangent x. And we could also see that a is pi over 6. So this entire expression is equal to f prime of a, or f prime of pi over 6. Now, if f of x is equal to tangent x, what is f prime of x? What is the derivative of tangent x? The derivative of tangent is secant squared. Now, our goal is to find f prime of a. That's what this entire expression is equal to, or f prime of pi over 6. So if f prime of x is secant x, what is f prime of pi over 6? If we can get that, that's going to be the answer to this entire expression. f prime of pi over 6 is going to be equal to secant squared pi over 6. Now, what is secant squared pi over 6? Secant is 1 over cosine. So secant squared is going to be 1 over cosine squared pi over 6. Now, what is cosine pi over 6? Cosine pi over 6, or cosine of 30 degrees, is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. 
Now this is squared. The square root of 3 squared is just 3. 2 squared is 4. So we have 1 over 3 over 4, which is 4 over 3. So this right here is the final answer to the problem. That's equal to the value of this limit.